Hi, this is Nate from Nate's Notes, back for another book review about the book Harbor Me by Jacqueline Woodson. Harbor Me takes place in New York City in a middle school in Brooklyn. In this middle school, a new classroom has been created for special needs students. Um, this classroom has six students. Every Friday, um, at the end of the school day, Miss Lawrence, the teacher of this new classroom, brings the six students to a classroom called the art room. It's not an art room, it's the old art room, but um, in this art room, these six kids just talk. No topic, you just talk. And at first, these three kids, these six kids, Haley, Holly, Tiago, Ashton, Esteban, and Amari, um, aren't very thrilled. They don't want to talk to each other. They just met each other, and why would they need to say anything to them, right? Well, um, after um a few day, after a few weeks, um, they start to start um to bond with each other and start to talk about um what's going on at home and how it's rough and like what they've been going through. And um, I'll be talking about some of the characters who um, talk about their lives um, at home. So first, there's Haley, the main character and the person who started um, talking about like um, things that are happening at home. And the way she did it is um, she, um, f she got a recorder, a voice recorder from her uncle, and they recorded all of the stories that all of the kids told. Haley, her main story is to the what she tells to the whole class is um, her dad is in prison and her mom passed. So she is in custody of her, um, uh, her uncle is in custody of her and um, how the uncle is going to move away soon because the dad is going to be freed from jail. Her, his prison sentence is about to end and her like getting ready because um, she has basically no pictures of um, her mom because um, old pictures of her were wiped away in floods. And um, the only pictures she has um, are in her dad's custody. So um, she's just getting like getting ready to like react to how she how like she should react to when her father comes. Um, the next is Esteban. Esteban is um made the is story started the book and ended the book it's by far the most descriptive and well sad story in the book esteban's parents are illegal immigrants from dominican republic and his dad was taken away um to um a camp in florida an immigrant immigrant camp in florida and they're writing back letters to each other and one of the most sad and most emotional parts of the book is that Esteban's dad writes poems to Esteban and those poems are very emotional and they're one of the best parts of the book. And finally, there's Amari. Amari's um, story is his dad. Once when he was watching TV, his dad told him to walk with him and they talked about gun violence and how since Amari is um, race is black, um, it is no longer safe for him to hold like a play with his Nerf gun because um, recently there was a shooting where a little kid was holding a Nerf gun and he was shot by police because they thought he was holding a real firearm. So those three, um, three stories, I think put some really controversial and stories that um like the topic needs to be worked on and um and i really like how jacqueline woodson the author tells about what how kids today um deal with these problems and i really like how she read it and um i really recommend jacqueline woodson's books because she's a really good story writer and all the ends of all her books end with like a sad ending or like a it didn't end right like it keeps the um it keeps the reader thinking and i really like that about jacqueline woodson's books so i recommend harbor me by jacqueline woodson thank you